Hey, what's going on YouTube? So we finished going ahead and doing the final trims for the RX-7 fenders for Street Hunter. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and take those down over there to the hunt quarters. Uh, I didn't bring my truck with me, so today we're gonna try to fit it in the dailies. That, that make it, if I had you at my shop, man, you'd make us a lot of money. Heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, man. So you, you mounted the kit, yeah. cut it out and everything like that. You and Ricky? Yeah. Everything. So, try to do the best we can so when we hand these off to you. You guys are the dream team, man. <laughs> do as much work so you guys don't have to do it. But yeah. you can see, I'm working it back little by little and it's getting better, but it's still. Oh, okay, I see what you mean. Yeah, you do have to, because it. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. So, I, thought, I thought this was going to set up way The other thing is, too, is there's a, like a cover that goes mm -hmm. over this and it has to, it resides in there. So if we get rid of this ledge. I don't know how that's going to really seal out. I already lost some of our mounting tab there. Yeah. So, man, front mount's huge. Who makes this one? This is uh, Mishimoto. Nice. You can't tell by the nice M I drew on it. <laughs> it looks like an N right now from this <laughs> side. <laughs> it's an M. <laughs> oh, man. So, what do you think about this bad boy, man? Uh, pretty good. I mean, it's an STI wagon and I love wagons so this is uh, something that we created from scratch last night so this is basically um, a lion's kit rear diffuser for like an earlier model Subaru mm. and these pieces here were actually on the other side we flipped them flipped them over and made them into brackets to hold it mm. so we're looking at a TJ Supra and it has like these cool fiberglass yeah. mounts so we used reused some materials and made our own <laughs> But she's pretty solid. This will just get blacked out. You know what would look cool is maybe um, throw the the liner in there. Well, but I know it's gonna add the little bit of weight. But kind of liner, like Raptor liner. We use Raptor liner, and uh, I did my whole Bronco on it. It's like that blue one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, we have some here. Yeah. yeah we have a, uh, not the can one though, right? Oh no 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 not that. It's not that it's not good, it just, it's, it has its own purpose, not, not for that. So that bad boy goes there, and then the grill gets taken out of our old bumper, and oh, it goes into here. This one's gonna need a little work, huh? Uh, I think it's more so because this is still pushing out a little yeah. bit, it's bringing this away. So I think once this is, because look, if I pull on it, yeah. look, it's perfect. And I think once this is there, Cause this is hanging up on yeah. the bottom. It just needs to get trimmed and yeah. 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 This needs some love. We just don't have to do it all day. Yeah. What do you guys think about this project? It's, huh? it's yeah? about to be cool. badass. You know, I see the it's wheels. Yeah. Oh, got wheels. Huh? You can't show them. I can't show them. You can't uh, show them. I will not show them. You know how to blur. Right. I'm gonna learn. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Camera blur. blur. You, you know what? I'm just gonna. I'm just not stealing content, sir. DMCA that. <laughs>
right, so already got a quick start on the body work. Found a little bit of areas that need a little bit of love here. Some waviness going on. A couple of dings and dents. Nothing major on this side. The concern is going to be more with the kit. And we just got to do a little bit of stuff to it to make it look a little bit nicer. Uh, better fitments. Got this huge gap right here. And I'm not sure if they do that for a certain reason. I think it's supposed to sit kind of more like this. So we got to do something there. Um, this is not sitting properly. So this is going to need a little bit of love right here. Also got a little ding up in here as well. Luckily, you got a new bumper, new fender on this side as well. Carbon fiber hood that probably gonna do something a little bit different with. Uh, and we gotta go ahead and get started on this side. Here we are. Last time you saw this thing, we were blocking it out. Now we used a dark primer, um, you know, to kind of keep everything uniform. And we got all the dings and dents primed up. Minus one little one here, but we're gonna do that after we remove the kit. So we got Mickey here to kind of explain What's some of the everybody? madness here <laughs> on this piece. Can we tell them about the little special touch or? I think we should hold out. We'll hold save out. that for the next video. Okay, we're so gonna save it for the next one. We've got a, a custom touch that we're gonna do this. Um, I haven't seen it on any other mountain rider kit out there. Um, but being at this car, it's gonna be a high profile car for one of our sweepstakes winners and also gonna be going off to the 2020 SEMA show. We wanna make sure we throw a little flair into the car. So Oscar and the boys and I have cooked up something special. Uh, the winner should be pretty happy because it's a really cool touch. Well, there you guys have it. So. 
Uh, Mickey and the boys over there at Throttle went ahead and fitted this kit and for Hopefully the most part, for the most part it fits alright, but there's definitely some things that we're going to have to clean up, uh, like a lot of this fitment, uh, and a lot of time there's no like clear cut time wise or process, it's just pretty much you work on it until it fits how it's supposed to, so we got some issues here, as you guys can see, we got a little bit of uh, waviness on this kit, and you know, to be fair, we didn't install it, these guys did, so there's the they're the, they're the ones that are gonna tell you how hard it was to get it on here and and why it fits the way it does, but it's ultimately always up to the body shop yeah, to have the final finish. To clean up the mess. Yeah. So so to keep it quick, the reason there's a lot of flex, a lot of uh, bowing in here is because this panel was warped pretty badly. Whether that's from manufacturing or just sitting in a box on a shelf waiting to be shipped or just in shipping in general, if, if um, panel has any warpage whatsoever you pretty much have to shape it and heat it yourself to get it on the car properly um, we are not a body shop at our shop but we we can fit these kits um, and we rely on the guys at SOS to really button them up and make them 100% for us I'd say we deliver this delivered this car about 85% to you guys and there's that hard 15% that's the hardest 15% is making all the gaps fitting right like you can see how the cut the the kit doesn't sit perfectly flush against the car and that's that's where these guys come in they go in and they shave it and sand it and fill all the low spots and make it pristine as you guys have seen they knocked out our 240sx they've knocked out a few cars for us that came out better than we could ever expect it and that's why we keep coming back all right guys so i think that's gonna wrap up today's video i hope you guys are enjoying what you guys see uh if you have any uh color guesses or you want to see this car in a certain color go ahead and comment down below mickey has some cards here i have you can't see them but i'm looking at the color and it's badass all right so there you go you guys know what color it is go ahead and drop the comment down below let us know what color this car is going to be it's a good one there you go <laughs>